Alright, I'm currently on 11 points and I'm 16th in the field now. Maybe I could make it into the top 10. There's 340 players in the event, so if I make it into the top 10, that's pretty good. Okay, my opponent's pretty strong though. 2082. Rapid, that's a high rapid rating, I think. Um, even strong IMs are like 2300. Okay, we'll go ahead and play bishop g5. Bishop e7, and I think against bishop e7, queen f3 is right. Um, against other lines, queen f3 is not necessarily the right move. Okay, but I think it's right here, and I think I should castle. Okay, b5. What is the correct play? My theoretical knowledge should extend much past here, but unfortunately for me, my theoretical knowledge is now at an end. Very unfortunate. Um, B5. It's an early B5. I think I need to go ahead and play A3. Alright, A3. Because B4 is a little inconvenient. Um, I think I can only allow B4 or in this case if I'm going to play like knight d5 or something and that's definitely not happening. The good news is like something like this pretty much always hangs this and b4 it'll lose some time to prepare so should be okay. Hello Edgar. Maybe bishop d3 is now right. Simple play. Must have clicked on it a moment ago. Um, Alright, so we tried this bishop d3 move. It adds support here, obviously. And then maybe I'll do this. <clears throat> okay, am I ever getting this in? Alright, I think it's time for g4. g4 is very common in these structures, so we'll try it here. If d5, I should always meet it with e5, and I get a French-like position that I think should be pleasant enough for me. So d5, e5. Okay. Obvious. Obviously, I got to worry about counterplay and potential mates down here, but it is pretty far away from something like that. Um, I, know, I could play h4. It, it does kind of walk into h6 when I need to trade on f6, though. Um, hmm. E5, or f5 encourages, um, not e5, but knight e5. I don't know that I want to encourage it. Let's try rook g1. I don't think the rook is very good on h1, and it's in line for some potential potential tactical counterplay. So let's swing it over to g1. I feel like there's a, just a ton of tension in these Sicilian positions. You're trying to, you know, make some threats and avoid allowing something bad to happen to your position. Um, but a lot of times, there, there's not a really good productive move to play, so you got to be a little patient. Okay, let's try this move. My knight was a little loose here, not that effective on d4, so I'm going to step back with a gain of time, um, push his queen away. Where do we go from here, though? I'm expecting his queen, of course, to retreat. 
or C7. Is he considering anything else? I don't know what else he could consider. Yeah, queen B6. Is, e, is F5 right now? I kind of feel like I have to push f5 at some point for counterplay. All right, f5 it is. For better or worse, we go. I'm giving him dark square control that I'm not eager to surrender, but I should get some counterplay on e6, and I, I gotta do something to open up some lines. Notice that this is defended now, which is useful, because in some lines that could have been hanging. Um, take here, I probably take with the queen. I just want to take on e6 here. That's my goal. Um, and then maybe at some point, if my g-pawn gets to move, e6 could be hanging to my queen. Of course, he has his own counterplay. four at some point, maybe even d5, and bishop takes a3. Stuff to watch out for. We sacrifice an exchange. I want to say that this sh should not be good yet, but it's maybe not off the table. Kalyanum says bishop e3. I don't know. Mm, I don't know that bishop e3 uh, I guess bishop e3 could make a lot of sense because I pushed g5 next. That could make a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this song played B Miles Lifestyle. I've got about 20 songs in the rotation here. So it might have played. I like that idea, actually, Kalyano. The idea of pulling the bishop and then pushing makes some sense, definitely. Maybe I should do it now. Yeah, do it here and then we can take next turn. Also, how does he keep his queen in touch with the b-pawn? Maybe I, maybe he's got to move his queen away from the defense of the b-pawn. Hmm. This looks good. So ideas of this and this. So Edgar in the chat, in the game chat says, how old are you? How old are you? Question, question. Question, 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 question. And then what is your name, question mark? Um, so I tend to think Edgar is probably a pretty young player. All right, let's go ahead and take this way. At least I don't often get a lot of more senior players asking such lines of questioning. Okay, I've got this defended at the moment. So, mm, I guess he wants to do this, actually. Hmm. Um, and then queen takes. Hmm. So should I do bishop takes? If I do bishop takes, then... Hmm, it's tricky. Do bishop takes, queen takes. Obviously, e4 is in a lot of trouble. Or I could take here. Knight takes b2, I think. Pawn takes, king takes, king takes, queen takes c3, and I step back. And what is that position? I'm worried that it's actually quite dangerous for me. I think I'm gonna to have to do this. I'm not happy about it, but I think I think we need to do this. 
maybe rook d4 next move. It's kind of a precarious placement for the rook, but it will shore these up, pushes queen to a square where I can take here and make him take with the pawn, because I don't think I want to let him, if I take now, queen takes, I think, helps him out a lot. So rook d4. All right, I'm gonna give it a punt. Push his queen away, grab, push. I think this is the way. <laughs> UNC says, tell him you are 1,000 years old. I'm going to tell him I am older than you, but I am younger than the mountain. And we'll let him contemplate that. Maybe he'll lose a lot of time thinking about that answer. My name is Anon, and he can search my games online. That's funny. I am older than you, but I am younger than the mountain. That is what a um, Chinese uh, graduate student uh, I knew one time told me, which I thought was great. <laughs> Fantastic answer. So, I mean, what are you going to do? You got to pull the queen back to c6 or c7, right? Unless I'm missing something massive. So, one of these squares should be the retreat square and then grab. And then push and then go here, right? It seems like a straightforward approach for me and it looks really, really good. Okay, knight takes e4. Oh, okay, that is that is a move I missed. Because um, takes, there is mate down here. Okay. All right, so two thoughts. One, I could just take here right away. And then he takes here, and pawn takes, and queen takes. He's attacking e3, although my queen will defend it push pawn g6, which is kind of tempting. Um, so I could take right away on e6. Or I could consider rook takes, bishop takes, and then I take on e6. And I've sacrificed an exchange, but I'm threatening his bishop, and my king feels a lot safer that way. My king definitely feels safer that way. Um, so I'm attacking his bishop, and I don't know where he goes. Maybe he goes back to g6. I should have some good attacking chances there, right? I'm a little annoyed in that position that I'll never be able to play like knight d5 or something, though. Donzaldo has followed. Welcome, Donzaldo. Okay. Queen takes. Knight takes, pawn takes, queen takes. He's threatening mate there. This seems like a problem. Um, do I have other ideas? I could push pawn g6 here because he's pinned. Doesn't seem like the right move though. Decision. Like, if I just let him castle next turn, that's no good. <laughs> Definitely no good. Um, all right, I'm surrendering the exchange. We're going to try this out. For better or worse, here we go. So, takes. Grab here. Okay, bishop g6. Of course, it makes total sense. Um, now what? Knight d4? Actually, knight d4 looks really good. Maybe he has 
queen f7. Hmm. I could do this, going after this pawn. It has bishop f7 in some lines. Could just bring my rook to f1. <clears throat> Stop bishop f7. How much am I worried about bishop f7? what to play. So I'm going to play an ID4 because it seems pretty harmonious. It adds support for this and it gets out of a position where I could lose the knight and get my pawns tripled on the queen side. So got to play something. So I'm trying this move. I mean, it feels like I have good compensation for the exchange, but compensation for the exchange can disappear in the blink of an eye, unfortunately. Um, okay, I did feel like that was probably the move to expect, and now I think I need to do this move. Don't see another realistic alternative. Okay, that was also expected, and now I've got to pull my queen away. Well, I could go over here and get greedy and try and take another pawn. Might be a decent decision. I pull my queen back here. What's happening? Let's go here. Try and stay centralized. We'll try that. Yes, time is definitely an issue. I'm aware, I just don't have a solution. I'm aware that time is an issue. D5. That's unexpected to me. Is that a good idea? I guess he's trying for this move. Okay, he's pinned at the moment, so he can't do it now. Threaten this. Okay. Lethal threat. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Small threat. Small threat. Little baby threat. Baby threats. Not a, not a big deal. All right. I guess it was a big deal. He gave up a queen. I've heard queens are pretty good pieces too. Let's try this move. Keep this short up and of course the bishop is amazing here. Um, not sure what that move does. <laughs> I get nervous when I'm not sure what a move does, but I don't think it does anything in this case. All right, and we'll go make some threats. Okay, actually we can just take this. Could have taken it last turn. Um, that'd make a big difference. Okay, um, let's move the rook over to an open file. Maybe h4, h5 is a good way to go. Um, Okay, he threatens c2. Actually, that's annoying. Um, hmm. Okay, let's go over here. I didn't see it the first time, but I saw it the second time. I could have played this before, um, which is very handy. So this, and it's helpful, of course, that this 
uh, is covered, so he can't come back to rook, uh, rook f6 to block. Okay, so I guess try that. Let's go for this move, because it makes it impossible to mess up now, basically. Because now I just do everything on the dark squares. All on the dark squares from here on out. E4, and we'll just march my king maybe up to e7. And uh, I have no intentions of ever capturing his bishop, so he'll never have a stalemate trick. <laughs> the bishop survives for forever. I think that I don't need to worry about that because my mate threats are so important here. Yeah. And this. Okay. And we'll just take here, here, here. GG to Edgar. Edgar! All right. So let's see what the accuracy was here. I have a feeling that the accuracy is going to be quite a bit uh, up and down in this game here. This was the Sicilian game we just finished right before this. All right. Uh, looks like some um, some comments from Eogel and Ibex saying that the previous user was banned. That's surprising, I suppose. That's too bad. Why would anyone do that? All right, I didn't actually, what was the accuracy? Ooh, I had a 78% accuracy. It's not so good, and he had 86. Um, and he was definitely winning, then I was winning, and then he was winning. Let's find out what the recommendations are from Stockfish, though. All right, so first off, uh, everything book up until here, and it says A3 is a mistake, but then it says plus 0.4, so maybe it's not a mistake. What's the book move? Oh, it thinks e5 is good, but e5 bishop b7, and then queen g3. Ah, okay. So I should maybe be more open to pushing e5. I tend not to consider it, but it's obviously critical, and if I play queen g3, computer likes me a great deal already. So I had a big opportunity here. It's funny, it says b5 is a book move, but I guess that means other players have blundered before and walked into e5. Okay, so I had a big opportunity with e5. All right. All right, um, a3, bishop b7, bishop d3, uh, knight d7. All right, <laughs> neither of us are playing the best moves in this stretch. g4 doesn't like them. So I could have still maintained a good position, it says, with rook hg1. That actually makes a lot of sense. Rook hg1's one move is recommended. Um, just focus on the middle of the board. Yeah, okay. Sicilians are death to accuracy. There's so much complexity in the Sicilian, right? <laughs> Neither of us are getting good marks. Yeah, he kind of walked into knight b3. I think knight b3 is probably the best move. Yeah, it says it's the best move, but I guess the automated analysis at first was like knight back to e2, okay. Going back to b6 and f5. All right, it doesn't like f5. But I couldn't see how to make progress otherwise. I really need to work on this line of the Sicilian because I often really struggle to um, restrain Black's counterplay and generate legitimate play on my own. And often I end up lashing out with a move like f5 that may work out, but is not the best move. So I really need to get some good uh, master games to look at here and see like how masters are conducting this position. Bobby Motion has followed. Welcome, Bobby Motion. Knight e5, um, queen h3. I was trying to keep an eye on here. Ah, and yeah, Stockfish likes this rook takes c3 exchange sacrifice. I wondered if he could do this. Um, I didn't think he had to, but yeah, Stockfish says go for it. Knight takes e4 here. I take on e7. Knight f2. Ah, knight f2 is a stinger in the tail right here. Knight f2 is a good move. Okay, so knight f2 in this line works out. So he could have sacrificed the exchange in a very productive way. Uh, instead, b4 uh, and bishop b3. Okay, pulls back. I take on b4. 
Okay, so here he had knight takes d3. C takes obviously leaves me feeling vulnerable on the file here, but then he can take on um, d3, um, take on e4 otherwise. So knight takes d3 and then taking on e4, I thought was very sensible. I saw that in the game. Knight c4, I traded. I played rook d4, it gives me a thumbs up there. I was happy to find rook d4. Um, queen goes back, swap on e6 and g5. All of this feels good. And then he had this move. That was a really good move on his part because of the pressure on c2. I'm pinned on c3, I can't move that. And here I sacrifice the exchange and the computer says I should have taken on e6. Okay, knight takes, pawn takes. I was a little worried about counterplay, but, ah, knight c5 according to Stockfish. Say what? That definitely wasn't on my radar at all. I still don't understand this move. If pawn takes, what's going on? Just queen d7 followed by rook over is really good? Oh, wow. Knight c5. That's a two exclamation mark move right there. That is brilliant. Right there. Very, very cool idea. There's also a queen check here and you just step up and this is defended. Wow. Yeah, no shame over the fact that I didn't see knight c5 and you needed it to justify this line. Otherwise, black's got pretty good counterplay. You have to play rook d2 here and black still has counterplay. So I sacked the exchange instead. But this line is a win for white if you find knight c5, which to find that in a rapid game, very difficult. But oh, what a beautiful move, guys. That's, that's stunning. I love this. Again, pawn takes, queen into d7 check. The king starts running. I think rook f1 is going to be the best move. Here you got mate, king g6, queen check. I think that's got to be right on g6 and you're finishing it off. g6 mates in two. Beautiful. All right, so rook takes e4 instead. I tried sacrificing the exchange. Uh, it prefers knight d4, stockfish. Ah, my arrows. I'm not drawing these right. Knight d4 instead of queen takes e6 right away. Man, chess is complicated, guys. Seriously. Okay, I played knight d4. It thinks that's best, and I have some compensation, but queen d7 is a good move. I did expect that, and I was um, kind of frustrated, I guess, when he found that, because I was definitely like, ah, I don't know that I have enough now. Um, here and he pushed this. I thought that was a really big mistake and Stockfish agrees It's a positional mistake because you're giving me Such great control of and blockade and a blockade on the dark squares. So this was a big mistake He didn't need to push that. Uh, I guess he can castle here Stockfish is saying that that's the best move and He's better. I've got some play, but he's better here. Queen e5, and knight uh, to f5, and I win. But he didn't have to castle. He could have played something. He could have moved his queen. He can't play bishop f8. If he plays rook g8, it just feels really bad because he's given up on the right to castle forever. So this position is really difficult at this point. e5, or d5, was, was a big positional mistake. He should not have done that. Um, and if he just castles, he's doing okay. So he, he really helped me out with that move. But okay, it's chess. We all make mistakes. So this was a really interesting game. I thought both he and I played some good moves, some mistakes, um, a lot of instructive moments here. And this beautiful knight c5 move is, is really a special one, I think. Boom. I really like that.